about it because guys, boost is coming to this Mach 1 and Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna actually be going over to, well, about 45 minutes away. I'm gonna go visit my buddy Steve, doing some crazy things to his GT500 and his GT350, and show him our 2021 Mach 1. We went on vacation with family, so that was about six or seven days, and then I got injured, so I think I may have pulled a ligament or something on my left ankle, or it's a really nasty sprain. Anyway, the car's been sitting for about eight days. Cold start time, let's go. the last video by the way that is the Corsa double X pipe with the factory uh, Mach 1 mufflers but yeah so I know what we're gonna do with this video we're gonna talk a little bit about boost Xander what's wrong with you 758 miles on a brand new Mach 1 and you're talking about boost yeah I guess that's where we're gonna start us so let's talk about what is the plan I'm sitting in traffic guys so let's uh let's start at the beginning so all right we're moving uh we are off head to Steve's and yeah we're past the traffic so because I thought so when I got it and I was like mm, you know maybe we'll do like the whole NA thing for a while because all we really need to do to put like this car on E85 you know is a tune you know and we use Daryl Winger and he's an absolute genius mastermind as far as tuning goes and he's who I had the last one and I will continue to use Daryl until he stops tuning is that good so anyway I do want more power out of this Mach 1 and I want to do things that are a little bit different than what um, other people are doing or have done because the Mach 1 is kind of an interesting vehicle you know because it handles well it fits in with the Shelby crowd a little bit but also with the GT crowd a little bit so it's kind of in between you know it's got uh, 350 parts on it 500 parts on it and then it's got a Coyote V8 uh, we also have the Tremec. Man, it's really tough to drive a manual with an injured left foot, if you did not know. I think I tend to lean more supercharger. Now, I've never owned a Century car, but I have owned several, okay, positive displacement or root style blower cars. You know, a, a supercharger sitting on top of your engine. A uh, turbo will always win as far as power and torque uh, getting there easier okay and you have the adjustability behind it with like a boost control i hate traffic i think everybody else does gas prices right now uh going out the wazoo funny story is when i was boost shopping for the red car i actually started in that that category it was centrifugal okay i was gonna do a uh, loud cut heritage gear for tech or affordable and i wasn't shooting for you know moon boost okay youtube you know it kind of can influence your direction a little bit and uh you know we wanted to be different so we went twin turbo and uh had some um bad things happen and we had some good things happen and then we finished off with a supercharger with a red car and uh kept losing transmissions out of the 10 r even though they were built so I think what I want to do with this Mach 1, it's a very special car, guys, is treat it right. And I've been saying that since I bought it. I want to do things different. I want to do things tasteful, though. And I want the car to be treated with a special touch. And so far, we have done that. And I'm very, I am very proud of what we have done to the car so far. And if you guys are kind of new to the channel, then uh, go explore the, the past few videos that have been really good. Um, apparently people like the Mach 1 Mustang quite a lot because the views have really uh, spoken for it. So anyway, the most fun I've ever had were manual Mustangs with boost. Okay, I've been in ones that were supercharged, obviously, and then I've been in a couple that were twin turbo, and they were a ton of fun. But there was still that supercharger, I'm sorry, but there was still that turbocharger lag. If you buy the right size turbo, you may not have to battle with that as much, okay? But you might cap off your ceiling as far as power or centrifugal. So that's there's the one that we left out, right? A buddy of mine lives in my neck of the woods, has a GT350, and we will be doing content here very soon. Awesome guy, his name is Rob. 
It's got a GT350 and he just did a Pro Charger on. And I should have filmed it, but it was cold and I didn't think we would hook up that well. Well, we did a little bit. He's a little bit braver than me as far as sending it 35 degree weather, uh, you know, trying to hit max boost. So I was just kind of in the passenger seat like, uh, I hope you know what you're doing. But we survived, we did. And it felt amazing as much as we could put the power down to the ground. That car was insane. And it really had me kind of going back to the drawing board a little bit. Like, what do I want to do with the Mach 1? I think they sound good. And a lot of people pick them for their street cars. And I think that I want to do the same with this one. Because if we got something with the loud gears, right? And it's you get that whooshy noises. Uh, the <laughs> That's the good thing about YouTube is I get to you know own a lot and drive a lot of other people's cars too with different types of boosts. So we want to do things different on this car. So that may be the best option is to go centrifugal on the Mach 1. We shall see. But I'd love to know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comments down below. I know this has been kind of a talking head video, but hey, we're in traffic. And so uh, this just means that we'll have more content uh, at Steve's house. So we'll get to see what he's up to and film that. And that'll be in a different video. There's a couple of mods I want to do to this car before we throw any kind of boost at it. And of course, we got to do our first oil change. We're at 759 miles now. So, all right, guys, let me know in the comments, what is your favorite type of boost? If you owned a manual s550 that you know had uh primary focus on uh daily driving and handling you know with uh, some light drag strip and light uh road course stuff what would your pick what would your flavor be for a boost would it be single turbo twin turbo uh would it be supercharger which is the most common and reliable arguably or would it be a centrifugal blower which are also very affordable and reliable as well so they all make a uh, decent power and they all make different noises and they all feel a little bit different in in the car uh, they develop their power in different ways but uh, let me know i think we're about to start moving again finally we're about to pass some cops looks like it was an accident up here hopefully nobody was injured anyway so uh, i'm going to shut the video yeah definitely an accident all right, we're going to shut this video down. What is your fit? Golly, look at this. Oh, hang on. Somebody got into a bad accident. I don't want to film it, so I think the camera's pointed at me and not. Yep. That's total. Airbags deployed. Let me know in the comments. What is your flavor of boost? And if uh, you had a manual transmission car, what would your pick be? This guys, boost is coming to this Mach 1. And like I said in the beginning of the video, we're going to show you a sneak peek. I'm losing my voice. I'm always losing my voice. What's wrong with me? We're going to show you a sneak peek at the end of this video when I decide to quit talking, which will be very, very soon. Uh, something that we bought that's in a big box that weighs 77 pounds, I think, you know, packaged, so heavy, and uh, I can not confirm or nor deny that it is a power adder of some kind, but uh, anyway, you'll just have to subscribe to the channel, make sure your bell notification is turned on, as I told you that we were going to steal all the Mach 1 content on YouTube. And I fully intend on making do with that promise. We're going to do things. We're going to take this Mach 1 to a different level than most people probably will. And advertise on the internet. Okay, in video. So, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. We're going to go visit my buddy Steve and see what he's doing with his ripped apart GT500. So, get ready for that content too. See you guys in the next video. God bless all of you. And bye.